long is it going to take? To clear the flat out. Don't know, a couple of hours at least. And then there's a lock up to sort out and all. Oh, God knows what you're going to find knowing your dad. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I'm just saying. At least you won't be there on your own, eh? That's exactly what I was thinking. What are you doing up? Normally takes a crane to get you out of bed in the morning. Well, I thought I'd go along with Jason, help him clear out Tony's flat, and then go with him to the solicitors. No need, I already said I'd go along. Fine, come if you want. The sooner we get it done, the sooner it's all over. Right, I'll, uh, I'll get off. I'll see you later, man. Hope it goes all right. Uh, uh, Todd, my word. Uh, yeah. Jace, catch you up. What? What are you up to? Me nothing. I just want to keep an eye on Jason. Mm. Keep an eye on him because of his dad or because of Pat? No, I just want to make sure he's all right. Mm. I swear, if you start any trouble... Trouble? Me? As if. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Honest? Yes, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Shush, you've been really quiet. You're not getting all sad again, are you? Oh, look, sweetheart, no, I promise. It's, it's just things have been a bit funny between me and Michelle, that's all. Funny how-how, funny here comes divorce number 653. We're not getting divorced, OK? Good. So what's the problem? Who are you, me therapist? Why? How much do they make? Look, it's an adult thing you wouldn't understand. Why not? I am in a relationship after all. Mm. You with this Sammy kid. He prefers Sam. Look, it is no big deal. Michelle's just been a bit off with me lately, that's all. Well, you haven't been around, have you? She's probably feeling unwanted, neglected. Women are very sensitive to that sort of thing. I know that. Well, so do something about it, then. Like what? Something romantic to make you feel special. You know what? It's not a bad idea as it goes. How much do you want? Call it a freebie. Simon made you breakfast? Yeah. I'm impressed. Well, I've told him he needs to start pulling his weight around the flat, doing a few jobs, you know? So what did he make you? Oh. Two slices of toast that tasted like charcoal and the most revolting cup of tea I've ever had in my life. Still, it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> oh, hiya. You two had a barney or something? No. Mmm. Pants on fire. Come on. Come back to bed. I can't. I'm late as it is. We throw a sick, eh? I hardly get to spend any time with you. All right. Why don't we go for a drink later after work? What am I supposed to do on my own till then? Read a book. <laughs> go for a hopper on the block. I don't know. Look, I've really got to go. I'll see you later. See you later. Have you seen Steve? Oh, he's gone into town. What for? I haven't a clue. He said he'd be back later after he's picked Amy up from school. Right. Do you know anything about this? You'll have to give me a little bit more to go on. Well... He left a note saying he wants to make us a romantic dinner tonight. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Also left his credit card and said, get yourself a nice frock or whatever. Free shopping trip? Even better? I don't want to go shopping, though. Oh, well, I think it's just his way of saying sorry for everything that's happened. So, why don't you go into town Get yourself something gorgeous, and then you can work on patching things up. Because hmm? you know he loves you, don't you? Yeah. And you love him, right? Of course I do. What are you waiting for? The shops are that way. <laughs> <laughs> you took your time. I had to fill the van up. Oh, where'd you park it? Next to the van. So, where do you want to start? I don't know. Jace, I'm sure you're all right? Of course he is. I was talking to Jason. Yeah, I'm fine, OK? Let's just get on with it. I start in the kitchen, get that sorted? Cheers, Pat. Right, shall I uh, start in the bathroom, yeah? Yeah, OK. He's gorgeous. I mean, he's even making me a little bit broody. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> Looks like you. Do you think so? Definitely. I don't see it myself. Well, if you ever need a babysitter, you know where I am. I'll see you later. I'll see ya. Have you been out all morning? 
Well, he, uh, yeah, he woke up early, so we've just been out for a walk to see if he'd fall asleep. It worked. Yeah, I think it's the first time he stopped crying in days. Are you OK? Why wouldn't I be? I'm not asking because I'm having a go. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Yeah, maybe you should just give it a rest because I am sick of you and David just interrogating me all the time, so just back off. What are you thinking, mate? <sighs> I don't know. Just, uh... Is this what it's all about? You know, a few nice clothes, a um, bit of money in your pocket, flash motor, numbers of birds you're never gonna call. <sighs> Doesn't say much for someone's life, does it, eh? No, it doesn't. But he had more going for him than that. Like what? Like you, kid. You know, I'm nothing special. Yes. Yes, you are. You're a good bloke, better than me, that's for sure. Although, you know, I must say, I got the looks. <laughs> In your dreams. How are you two getting on here? Uh, yeah, good. Only we've still got that lock-up to check, so... OK, yep. let's get going. <sighs> Omar, 17 Cranfield Terrace, going to the hospital. Oh, do me a favour, kill me now. Certainly, just after I've throttled Billy. I think that might be a mortal sin, so before you do that, do you want me to tell me what's wrong? I've had the travel agents on. He's not paid the deposits, we've lost the holiday. Why has he not paid it? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, you've got to be joking. I was expecting a rusty lawnmower or a punctured space hopper, not Aladdin's cave. Where did he get all this stuff? Pretty good idea. What are we going to do with it? Sell it, of course. We can't. Why not? Because it's bound to be knocked off. I don't know, maybe we could give it to charity somewhere. It's better than bidding it. You do know how much this stuff's worth, don't Perhaps you? To be fair, mate, it's not really your decision, is yeah, it? Yeah, well, I'm just trying, trying to... What? Trying to help him out. Oh, really? Yeah. Trying well, to help... you two just give it a rest. I don't need all this right now. And I don't need this junk, either. Look, we need to get to the solicitors. You two go and do that. I'll take care of this. Are you sure, Pat? Yeah. All right, cheers, mate. I'm sorry, all right. I didn't mean to have a go at him. I'm just... I'm trying to help you out, that's all. Oh, I found um, some of his tools at the flat. I thought you might want to take him back to the yard or something. Right, OK, cheers. Look, Todd. If you really want to help us out, why don't you give Pat a hand clearing all that stuff out and see if, just for once, you can do it without kicking off at each other? OK, what about solicitors? Oh, I can handle them. All right, that's what you want. All I want to do is get this over and done with now, so I can bury me dad. Mm, guessing this isn't a social call. I need to talk to you. About Steve. What's he done now? <sighs> well, he's arranged a romantic meal for us tonight. Left me his credit card, told me to go out and buy myself some new clothes. <gasps> what a pig. I hope you told me where to get off. This isn't funny. How can I sit there looking at him over a candlelit dinner or whatever after everything that's happened? Well, from what you told me, not much has. Yeah. Well, that's not how Liz sees it. Excuse me, Liz. You've not told her about you and Will, the, the mother-in-law from hell? It's all right. She said she's not going to say anything to Oh, her. really? Did you get that in writing? God, Michelle, why can't you just be like a normal person and lie? Because I'm tired of feeling like a hypocrite. Oh, welcome to my world. <sighs> Sorry. At least you've got over your mistakes and moved on. Really, you reckon? Listen, every morning I wake up there and look at Nick lying next to me and I hate myself for what I've done. But you know what? The way I see it, I've got two choices. I either tell him and risk losing him, which I don't want to do, or two, I live with it. I live with the guilt and I make sure it never happens again. I can't tell Steve. He'll break his heart. Then don't. Right, come on. Where are we going? Shopping. If ever there was a case for retail therapy, it's now. Jeffrey! 
Yeah, how are things? Yeah, good, good. Listen, enough of the small talk. I'm over at the container yard. And I've got some items of interest you might want to take a look at. Oh, yeah. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Oh, and bring the van. You're going to need it. Okay, bye. Bye. Just forget. I mean, he's probably got a lot of vicary type stuff on his mind. How could he just forget? He's booked a week off. And besides, he knows how much I was looking forward to it. It's all I've gone on about. Yeah, I had noticed. <sighs> it's not just that. It's starting to make me think, why is he even with me? Isn't the whole point of seeing someone that they make you feel better about yourself, not even more rubbish and useless? Hey, she's hey, got your message. What's wrong? The travel company have been on. We've lost the holiday. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you? Yes. I, I can't explain what's happened. Can we go somewhere else, please? <clears throat> See you in a bit. Well, well, you'd be glad to know it's absolutely fine weight-wise. And the rest? And cute as a button to boot. So unless there was anything else you wanted to talk about, then I'm happy. There was something that I wanted to ask. Far away. Do you think the babies can, I don't know, sense things, you know, pick up moods and that? Do you mean if one of the parents is stressed or feeling particularly emotional? No. Um, I mean, more like the atmosphere of a place, you know, a particular house something I'm not I'm not sure exactly what you mean oh, just forget it. it doesn't matter Sarah is everything all right yeah it's fine I'm just a bit tired that's all so what do you reckon where'd you get it does it matter not really no but you are interested then well since it's you I'll do you a favor take off your hands how much of a favor well, let's load it in advance, see exactly what's there. Then we'll talk money. Fair enough. Ah, oh, that's brilliant news, mate. Yeah, yeah, congratulations, man. Listen, give my love to Andrew, won't you? And send us a picky. Oh, not you, with the baby, you numpty. What? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, all right. OK, mate. Yeah, bye. Bye. Who was that? That was Uncle Lloyd. Andrea gave birth to a little girl this afternoon. Well, I say little. Over ten pounds. Ten pounds? Yep. That's like five bags of sugar. Pretty much. That's it. I'm never having a baby. I'm going to have to tell Sam. Tell him what? That we'll have to adopt. So, did you tell Michelle about the meal you're cooking for her? Yes, yes. I left her a message, told her to go out of town, get herself whatever she likes. My treat. Finally, you're learning. Oh, yes, thank you. So, what are you waiting for? What? Well, you need to get everything ready for when she comes back. I've got bags of time. Well, you want everything to be perfect, don't you? Well, yes. Don't you? Yes. So, sort it out then. I don't know. Men. You lied to me. Yes. But I didn't mean to. What, so you just said lots of things that weren't true and pretended that you wanted to go away with me by accident, is that it? No, I, I did want to go on holiday with you. So then why didn't you pay the deposit? Because something's happened. Something that I need to be here to deal with. What? I can't tell you. It, it's to do with the parishioner. Oh, the... do you know what? Save your breath, because I'm getting tired of this Montgomery Cliff I confess routine. I'm not doing this to try and hurt you. Look, I, I, I've still got a week off, like a week booked off. I mean, maybe we can go somewhere a bit closer. I think that ship sailed. Where are you going? Just talk to me, will you? What's the point? We've been over it so many times. I'm tired of it and I'm tired of this. What, of us? I'm tired of feeling so low down on your list of priorities that I don't even really matter to you. Yes, maybe that's selfish of me, but I'd rather be alone than feel like this. Sean, 
Sean, just... So, let me get this straight. Yasmin's building an orangery, whatever that is, just to wind Sally up. Sort of, yeah. They've got this feud going on. It's getting a bit mad now. <laughs> well, it might be a bit mad, but I've got to be honest, I like her style. Uh, try living with her. Uh, yeah, I've already done that. I'll pass on that one, thanks. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. I was just passing and thought maybe we could have a catch-up. I'm working. I haven't got time right now. Sorry. I have that effect on men. The gift. Oh, come on, what's going on with you two? I thought you were made for each other. We are. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> right, so how much do you want? I was thinking four grand. <laughs> Try two. In your dreams. Come on. This stuff's so hot, I'm going to have to wear an oven gloves to shift it. Three and a half. Three. Done. Good man. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess we're done here, then. Yeah, there's uh, one more thing you could do for me before we go. Have you got a printer back at your place? I've got loads. Why, right, do you want to buy one? <laughs> I'll tell you when we get there. Meet you there. All right. Not that it's not nice to see you. Is, um, is Sean in? I've been trying to call him, only he's not answering his phone. So he's not still with you? Everything all right? No, I had a row. About the holiday. He's told you what happened then. Oh, Sean tells me everything. A lot of the stuff I prefer not to hear. Do you want to come in and wait for him? But only if, if it's not interrupting. Well, as it happens, I was about to sit on my backside for a couple of hours, so you're in luck. Come on. I was just coming to see you. Me? Why? What's up? Uh, don't worry, it's nothing bad. Um, tire service, one of the delivery vans. So I was just returning the keys. So oh, thanks. Yeah. Get my dad to sort you out. I, I meant getting to pay you. Yeah, it's all right. I know what you meant. I'll see you soon. Hey, listen, me and Kat are going for a drink later. Why don't you join us? Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, then. Uh, as long as your dad's not there. <laughs> Well, I still think you should have got the low-cut dress. You know, Steve would have thought all his birthdays would come at once. It was too expensive. He was paying. Exactly. What, and you don't think you're worth it? It's not that. Isn't it? No. Look, I know you're trying to help, and I really appreciate it. It's just... I'm just not sure I can go through with this. Pretending everything's all right when I know it's not. You know, it's funny, this. I seem to remember us having a very similar conversation not too long ago. Only difference being I was the one that messed up and you were the one telling me to take it easy on myself. Mm-hmm. I know. It's probably another reason why I feel like such a hypocrite. So what? You're going to risk it all? Tell them what you did? I mean, really, what good is that going to do? At least I'll be able to look at myself in the mirror. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Who are you going to see looking back, though? Is it going to be somebody who, you know, is pleased that they've, they've done the right thing and fessed up? Or someone wondering why they've just thrown their whole marriage away to the bloke they love over one stupid mistake? Hmm. Would you like your bill? No, thanks. I'll have another drink, though. <sighs> Look, tell me to put out and mind my own business, but do you really think this is the best way to try and win him back? What do you mean? Well, you know, hanging around here, following him around. <laughs> Bit stalkerish, isn't it? Oh, you'd rather just give up on him, is that it? Bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Hi, Anna, about? I've seen you two together, having your little cosy chats. <laughs> oh, please, I'm old enough to be his, his older sister. No, look, I, I was just giving you a bit of friendly advice, that's all. Sorry. So what? Uh, do you think I should play more hard to get? Just be straight with him. Talk to him. Tell him how you feel. You know what? You're right. Hey, whoa, what do you think you're doing? Taking your advice. No, no, you can't just walk through it. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, I know. Health and safety, blah, blah, blah. We need to talk. I'm working. It'll wait. Yeah, well, maybe I've got nothing to say to you all about that. <laughs> if I think you're going to get rid of me that easily, you're wrong. 
I want you back. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. Just seeing where you and the boys are. Just um, give me a ring when you get this. So things going well with Pat, then? Oh, touch wood. Pat, between you and me, I don't think I've been this settled. So... Sorry. Oh, it's OK. Sean's only upset because he's mad about you. I'm sorry it's so tough for you both at the minute. It's all my fault. How do you mean? Oh, that might be him now. Mom! Oh. In here, love. Oh, where's Jason and Pat? Jason's gone to the solicitors on his own. And Pat? Pat? He's just busy ripping off your son. What are you going on about? I, I, I think I will get off now. No, stay. The more people who know what a scumbag he is, the better. Oh, how many times? I know you don't no, like it. No, no, Mum. Mum. I can prove it, right? Look at this. What exactly am I looking at? Right, after we cleaned out Tony's flat, we went to his lock-up, right? It was full of stuff. TVs, video games, consoles, the lot. Which I'm sure he had the receipts for. Oh, Mum, come on, even Jason knew it was knock-off. Right, so Jason told Pat, get rid of it, or I'll give it to charity. Pat agreed. Then after he thought we'd gone, I heard him calling a mate. Yeah? Look at this bit. What do you reckon? Couple of grand there, at least. How much of that do you reckon's gonna end up in Jason's pocket? You believe me now, don't you? We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.